National Chairman of the Road Haulage Association, I'm pleased to welcome you to the Association's second Compliance Conference. So here's to a day of excellent discussion, networking opportunities and learning points. Does a worker on sick leave um, continue to accrue holiday rights? If you fall ill before a pre-arranged holiday, you can, you can change it and take your holidays at a later date. If you fall ill whilst you're on holiday, you can change that so you can stop your holiday two days in. If you don't believe that the illness is genuine, you can discipline them for it. It's health and safety based. Um, people work, they need rest from work. If they don't rest from work, they become tired. If they become tired, they make mistakes. Uh, recently, we asked just over 100 RHA members if you've got a drug and alcohol policy at work. 22% don't have a policy. This time next year, I'm speaking to you, the whole new law will have been introduced, the, uh, the drug driving law. Last year, there was a driver in Scotland who turned his lorry over on a roundabout in Dundee and it was determined that he drunk half a bottle of spirits while his lorry was being loaded. He drove a hundred miles with that. I couldn't walk a mile let alone drive that. It was frightening to find that 44 percent of respondents suspected somebody being under the influence at work. We know in the same way as you do that times are hard, money is tight, value for money is key and we need to decide just like you do uh, what has priority. Be up to date with best practice, it's best, best practice because it keeps you safe but you've got to try and create that culture of understanding that you are keeping them safe, you are keeping them away from me, you are keeping them out of the criminal courts. I'm here to talk about the uh, anatomy of a large tachograph investigation. What do RHA legal services do? What do we do? Well, we come in the next day if possible. First thing, you've got to make sure every driver that's working for you is trained. Secondly, you've got to plan your work. Thirdly, you must make sure they have a valid digicard. Fourthly, you must recover the data from the digital card and the analogue card, not only within the legal framework, but I would recommend as near as you can get it at least every week. Uh, you then need to analyse that data. Step number six is the most important. When you follow up with the driver, a human needs to look at the analysis knowing what that driver is supposed to be doing. Uh, for the first time, um, we've merged uh, two fairly large organisations. We've got uh, the DSA, the Driving Standards Agency, and uh, what was previously uh, VOSA, Vehicle and Operator Services Agency. What we're going to be doing is combining uh, compliance. What we'll also do to help achieve best business value is help and support the compliant operator. You know, compliance is as much about help and education, as far as we're concerned, as it is about enforcement. I think over the last few years particularly, I've done quite a number of presentations on how important the driver is to you. They basically deliver your service. They can decide effectively whether or not you're looking at prison. The driver always is held to account for the condition of his vehicle on the road. Healthy drivers. So the starting point is an obligation upon the employees to tell you when they're not healthy. Is he fit to drive? Um, both fatal, I've had two fatal accidents, one involving sleep apnea and one involving either sleep apnea or cough syncope. The experts couldn't decide. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't bring that poor person who died back to life. And that poor person was a lollipop lady who was, whose own child was waiting to cross the road with all the other kids from school at the point where he collided into her. Why is training so important? It's about creating a safer environment to operate. What an interesting and informative uh, day we've all had. And I'm sure all of you have gleaned something from today. Have a good journey home. Thank you. Thank you.